Hello players, is your VR headset not perfect? Welcome to the epitome of first world problems. Hi, I'm your host of the internet's Buzz Stringer and we'll be looking at a few common simple problems with the Rift setup. We'll be looking at some problems that you may or may not have. As with all PC software, it can be entirely dependent on some kind of software or hardware configuration that just doesn't play nice with the Rift. One of my first videos is a prime example of this. It was how to stop the Oculus Store loading every time you start Windows. No matter what options or configuration I set, it's still loaded every single time. And I couldn't stop it loading without additional tweaks, but apparently this didn't affect everybody. We'll be looking at 100% CPU usage, tangle cables, default audio device, uh, BIOS and power consumption problems. The first issue is a really simple one and has probably been solved by loads of people already in their own way. But the issue is having to plug the Rift into the back of the PC. Like most people, I have a lot of cables in the back of my PC which often get tangled. So adding three more cables from the Rift not only adds to the problem, but when they get tangled it significantly reduces the length of the Rift cable from the center of the play space. So it may seem a fairly simple option, but I used extension cables. Uh, a lot of people have had problems with extension cables and the Rift, but I decided to play it safe and only use one meter cables and of course USB 3.0 extension cable and HDMI 2.0 extension cable. The USB 3.0 extension cable was Amazon Basics and the HDMI extension cable was some generic one, but that seems to be doing the trick so far. I ran those two cables away from the PC and it has made a world of difference not having to untangle the Oculus Rift cables every time. And if you want to get really fancy you could put them inside a little uh, enclosure box similar to the HTC Vive's breakout box. The next problem occurs only occasionally and I'm still yet to find the root cause of it but I think it has something to do with playing games in Steam VR. But anyway, when the Rift is in use it sets the default audio device to the Rift which is good as it should but when I'm finished using the Rift on occasion it will not flip the default audio device back to what it was before causing all the sound from the PC to come out of the Rift's teeny tiny headphones. And in the setup I have where I'm trying to avoid the Windows desktop as much as possible it becomes a bigger more annoying problem trying to switch the default audio device back to HDMI. And I'll get to the solution in just a second because the solution actually fixes another problem I've been having with the Rift. On occasion, not every time, it's probably a BIOS thing, but when we're starting the PC it sends the HDMI signal over to the Rift instead of the monitor. So I have a black screen and have to restart the PC before the monitor comes back. And the answer for both of these problems is more hardware. I purchased this USB switch for £8 on Amazon that sits between the Rift's cable and the extension cable that I have installed. By pressing the button it cuts the power and data and effectively turns the Rift off. And when it's off it means it can no longer be the default audio device and it means it can't hijack the HDMI signal when the PC starts up. Just remember to turn it back on before you start playing. And just before you go in the comments and say, well, just unplug the USB cables, doofus. Yeah, that certainly is an option, but USB cables can wear out. Um, and a replacement Rift cable is around £50, so it's always best not to have to keep unplugging expensive USB cables if you don't have to. The last problem drove me crazy for an entire day, and I had no idea that the Rift was the culprit. I heard the fans from my water cooling radiator spin like crazy. They were on full, and they're usually only around 25 so I checked the CPU and the Intel 6790K was running at 100% and at 60 degrees, between 50 and 60 degrees at idle. Wow. So I went through all the usual stuff, restart, no change, safe mode, no change, uh, checking the overclock, no issues there. So I installed a fresh install of Windows on a test petition hard drive and the issue went away. But I don't really want to do a complete reinstall on my main install so I kept digging for a little bit. And it turns out the Rift can cause this problem so a huge thanks to Andrew Munsu. I got the solution from his page which is linked in the video description. And the TLDR of his page is that when the Rift is in use it sets the minimum processor state up to 100% so there's no latency with the CPU has to ramp up for the game which is great. What's not so great is that sometimes it doesn't reset the power config 
and has the processor minimum state staying at 100%. But there is a simple two line CMD fix for this. So just open up a command prompt window as administrator and type in the two lines that you see on screen now or copy them from the video description. And check out Andrew Munsell's page for a full explanation and description as to why this actually happens. Thanks for watching, let me know if this helped or if you have any other problems with your VR headsets. If you like this video, hit the like button, get subscribed for more videos like this one and some videos that are not like this one. And I'll see you next time.